The Supercell Dev Team answered question they didn't aim ask me anything. In this video we're gonna check what news there are in Clash Royale, what things they answer that you may not have known. Is 2v2 gonna stay? And the answer to that is they have no plans to remove 2v2 from the game. So it's probably gonna stay. They also say they have no plans at the moment to introduce ranks in 2v2 for now. And also the ladder play in 2v2 they don't want to introduce at the moment because they kind of enjoy the casual nature of 2v2. That's something I enjoy too actually because in 2v2 you can just play, have fun, try different decks and it doesn't really matter if your partner fails or if you fail. It's just for the fun of the game. I really appreciate that Supercell sees that and they think or feel the same way. Would you consider implementing a temporary ban on players constantly abandoning 2v2 matches and they say this is a good point this is on our minds not sure on banning yet maybe some design that incentivizes finishing 2v2 matches will there be a 3v3 they have thought about 3v3 but no real push on it yet i don't really want it though for 2 v i think 2v2 is okay i don't need 3v3 it, i think it's gonna be big chaos balancing they say balancing is a very controversial topic which kind of makes it scary thing to talk about about and to work on. You can never ever please everybody and all changes cause lots of heated reactions. Balance and the meta is also an ever evolving thing. It's good to remember that the game is only one and a half years old and there's already been lots of different meta. Goal for balancing has been to make all cards somewhat useful. The more cards and diverse there is, the more likely rock, paper, scissors emerges. The summer meta is a great example of this, as the concerns about the meta didn't appear until a month after the update and we tried to address it as soon as possible after our summer break. We are happy that we managed to get the balance changes in before CCGS started. That's what they said to balance. They also say in terms of balance, they already consult with top players they try to continue improve on balance it's really a difficult topic of course uh, how do you decide what to buff and nerf? It's a lot of things that affect the decisions. No simple answer to this, but we look at the data and we also listen to players, like I said before, to the pro players, especially top level players and those community influencers who do awesome deep analysis on the cards, the meta and the game. So they really listen to the community. That's what they answer to this question. And in a, co in a nutshell, it's a combination of looking at data, listening to players, posts in the community and stuff, and some intuition into this. That's how they do balance. They are not on a specific schedule for balance changes, but they, but they do balance changes whenever they feel they are needed. Like the most recent balance change arrived later than usual due to summer ho holiday. They say Nightwitch could have been balanced from day one. They agree on that one. So they really listen to the community and they're hoping to improve on this and have taken some steps to improve. Which card is the most hardest to balance? They say the credit card. <laughs> More serious answer. Our balance guru says any one or two elixir card is the hardest to balance. How many barbarians does it take to screw in a light bulb? They say don't be silly. Everybody knows barbarians use torches. Another question about new troops. Have you ever thought about having a healer troop? It's tempting. But a big danger to add this kind of troop because it could become too powerful. It might build up a crowd of troops and that would clutter the battlefield. Having troops die with the addition of Elixir Cap gives the game a natural attack cycle and adds a natural break to moves to recompose. Heal spell, fill the gap. Even that spell might need some rebalancing, they say. Uh, yeah, I agree. A healer in the game, I don't know. Maybe what I would like in the game, what would be cool, is a big that fixes your tower but then probably there would be way more draws and we don't want that it's just a funny idea will you nerf the mega knight they say there's no current plans to nerf or buff the mega knight and we're very reluctant in general to do changes to a card too soon after its release i was actually thinking they would nerf it 
very soon. Uh, reading comments in the community and comments from top players and influence, there is a lot of controversy around whether it's too OP or even underpowered. Data shows it's useful, which is a good thing, but it's been less than a week, so it's way too early to draw drastic conclusions based on it. One thing to note is that it's currently only used by players who manage to get it in the challenge, which means players with above average skill. So yeah, I agree, it's too early to say this needs a nerf or buff. Is this something you regret adding to the game? How would you change it? They say having Royal Chant and Elite Barbs as common cards due to the overleveling issue with commons and donations, but they have no good idea on how to fix this. So they regret having introduced Royal Chant and Elite Barbs as common cards and they really see the issues of overleveling those cards. About tournaments. Is there plans on reworking custom tournaments? They say we want to do more with custom tournaments and also wish to add more features for competitive play and playing with brands. We don't have any of this coming with the next update, but it's on their roadmap. So tournament improvements somewhere on the roadmap, definitely not gonna be in the next update. There is a hint at new game modes. What they say is, we generally add game modes with every release. We think it's a cool way to add variety to the game and mix things up every now and again. They confirmed that draft challenge is coming in the near future. I actually didn't like draft challenge, so I'm not worried about that at all. We have some really cool modes coming. I'm super hyped for those new cool modes in the next update. Some of the best we've ever done, that's what they say, according to us. But maybe we're a bit biased, they say. War. The question is, will there be war in Clash Royale? What they say to that is, uh, I think it's a cool thing, specifically ways to bring your clan together and work together to beat a common enemy. It will happen one day, it's on the list of big ideas but it's a long list and we've got a few big ideas we need to implement first no, don't go into detail what the secret things are king's cup challenge with a random deck had a lot of potentials do they want to bring back that challenge and they say yeah it had potential but it wasn't as good as it could have been but they say for the next update they have a very cool variant coming of random deck mode that they already can talk about that will be the mirror mode a new challenge mode where both players get the exact same deck with the exact same rotation and so it will be kind of hard to find excuses when losing in one of those matches and they say they, they really had a blast when they played around with that mode and yeah there's another cool secret game mode that bangs and teasing about all over the place and they won't tell and the summary of spoilers is new game mode they will have quests and they will have something cash and this weekend there will be a new challenge it's called the ramp up challenge it's a simple elixir rate adjustment from times one to times three over the course of the first three minutes that's the ramp up challenge very cool new challenge coming looking forward to that new challenge a very common question how does matchmaking work in a nutshell it indeed is only based on profits there is however a few special rules in place so if you always wanted to know how matchmaking works list players on a losing streak are in a losing streak Pool. while there you get matched against others in the pool until you win that's a feeling i always had then you're back normal again so they actually want want to avoid that feeling of being on a on a permanent losing streak that means as soon as you're in a, on a losing streak they put you in that pool until you recover from the losing streak that's special in the matchmaking still matchmaking is always based on trophies and also they try to match together players that they consider abusive trophy droppers so they have something in place to identify abusive trophy droppers and they match trophy droppers against each, each other so they don't mess other people's game point number three we have a few rules for the very top of the ladder where there are less players this is to improve the quality of matchmaking there and to mitigate abuse like win trading 
So in a nutshell, trophy base and kind of experience improving with people on a losing streak and abusive trophy droppers. Those are the only special rules they have in ladder matchmaking. They are still reluctant to talk about exact rules and not revealing the exact parameters for the above rules either because that would make it easier to exploit the rules i mean that's clear for all of those i'm one of them who wishes there is more than eight cards in a deck i feel limited with eight cards we'd be very careful to have bigger decks eight is a good balance count to provide enough variety keep it simple and elegant that's their opinion so in the near future we're probably not gonna see more than eight cards and big fake news is there any truth to the being less active increases chance of a legendary. They say it's fake. If you're not active, doesn't increase your chances of legendary. Chief Avalon asks, are there any plans for an arena level cap for cards or a card level cap depending on player level to address over level cards, low level players in high arenas or high level players in low arenas? What they say is we're definitely talking about this and we realize how frustrating it can be to face over level cards. It's no straightforward solution without causing other issues, but we will continue discussing it internally so no solution to that yet we will still have those over leveled e barbs or royal giant which is definitely a pain for free to play players and when will it be the next update when will it be of course they won't tell but what they say is they're working hard on the update right now actually they're taking a break to answer the questions right now when they answer those questions but they will be back soon. They also say expect something in October because they won't confirm that. So that's really great, interesting news. They didn't tell us too much, but we learned some stuff about cards and, and how they're gonna change or how they're gonna be. We learned about quests. There will be something called quests in the game soon. Then also the think about turn is, but it's not gonna be the next thing they're doing uh, the think about new fun game modes there will be the ramp up challenge there will be a new kind of draft challenge where everybody starts with a mirror deck so that's gonna be very very cool and yeah that new 2v2 mode i'm really curious what that's gonna be interesting stuff there i hope you enjoyed this video about what the developers of clash royale say and yeah for more awesome videos subscribe to my channel thanks have an awesome day